six right now. Welcome back. As we know, there are thousands of health and fitness apps. So how do you get a complete health picture in one single place? Technology consultant Francie Black is here to tell us about an electric electronics health journal. And you've got, instead of all of these different things, one spot. Yeah, exactly. So we have apps that track our um, our calories that track our steps that might we might have a device like a di diabetes monitor that logs it to an app or a thermometer that logs it to an app and so you show up at the doctor's office and he says hey well what's your temperature been for the week give me your ratings give me your readings and you're flipping through five different apps to try and get that okay. so what do you do how do you get a comprehensive health picture and you can do that with the Apple health app and it comes built in on your phone and most people don't even know it exists or don't know what it what is. What we're talking about is I have a new phone I was like, oh, I've seen this health thing on there but I've never actually clicked on it so maybe you haven't either. So and it is, it's just, it's already built in, it's free. It's, it's there. It's built in, it's free and you actually can't even delete it. Okay, so <laughs> you're stuck with it. So you might as well learn how to use it. All right, so um, what it is when you go into the app and you tap on the dashboard, this gives you a summary of really the key features that are key health aspects that you want to track. So for me, it might be exercise. For somebody else, it might be diabetes or whatever it is. But you can customize this to show whatever it is that you want on your quick access dashboard. So I have here steps, running distance, flight climbed, heart rate, sleep analysis, and analysis, and you can put whatever you want here very quickly and easily. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now again, you don't have to have a pedometer to get this. No, in fact, the stat, one of the really cool things about the health app, and I'll tell you about one on for Android as well, is that this automatically tracks your steps. So even if you don't have um, a Fitbit or any of the smart watches, this is tracking your steps whether you know it or not. <laughs> so as long as you have your phone with you, correct. it's doing it for you. That's okay. exactly correct. So then you can go in, so you can get these the, all of these different apps to read directly to this app and it pulls that data as a single health journal. Now, so you can have it do it from, the, from those data sources and if you want to see what sources you have, tap on that and these are all different apps. So Fitnet is a popular one, Lose It is a popular one, Life Track is right here with this watch, um, Runtastic Results is one and so you can use those apps still but they will read their data. If you allow them to, it'll read it to this health journal, to this health app so okay. that you have a comprehensive picture. Now, what if you don't have an app that you're using? You can actually put in your own health information as well. So this is very quick and easy. These are all the different things that you can track in this app. It's really unbelievable. There's over 75 different wow. health I aspects. Mean, blood type, glucose, blood pressure. Right, and the list keeps going. That's, we're just at C. Oh, Calcium, wow. you know, copper, you know, cycling, all kinds of different things, and the list goes on and on. So okay. whatever it is you're tracking, you can put in a data point. So I'm going to go ahead and put in here um, body temperature. So I'm going to tap on body temperature just to show you how quick and easy this is. I'm going to add a data point and uh, let's say my temperature is 100. I have a you know low grade fever. I'm going to add it and maybe I've been uh, tracking this for the week and let's say I want it to show on my dashboard. I've been sick, want it to show my dashboard. I just tap right here and then go back to, um, to my dashboard and then that will become one of my options on my dashboard is body temperature. Okay, and it shows right there. That and it shows right there. And then there. if you're not sick anymore, then you can take that off if you want to. Okay. Now, one other last thing that I do want to point out about this is the medical ID. And this is a really cool thing that you might want to be aware of. And this is particularly good if you are taking care of an aging parent and they have a smartphone. Have them um, put in their medical conditions, their notes, their allergies and reactions, and then they have all that information with them when they're at the doctor's office. So you don't have to be flipping through pieces of paper. It's all there, one place. Good idea. And for Android, do I have time? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Android's always visit the website. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'll have all the Android information exactly. on your website, yep. iPadWisdom.com. That's where you can also sign up for Francie's e-newsletter. If you didn't get all that, just go to the Tech Time section of WLOS.com, and we will link you right there. Thank Francie, you. thanks so much. Thank you. Back over to you.